So every Shabbos, we actually read two Torah portions. In the morning, we read the whole Torah portion of that week. In the afternoon, we read a, the beginning of the next week's Torah portion, kind of a sneak preview. You would think if we read both Torah portions on the same day, the same Shabbos, there would be some kind of a connection. But this week, it seems to be total opposites. First, even the names themselves. The first Torah portion, the main one, Kiseitse, means when you'll go out. Kisavoy, the one we read in the afternoon, means when you will come in. So just the names, going out and coming in, similar opposites. And the content it says when you'll go out to war, this week's Torah portion. And then the one in the afternoon, when you will come in to the land and dwell in peace and tranquility. Seemingly going out to war and dwelling in peace and tranquility are also opposites. And even the, in a deeper level, that going out to war refers to the, our divine essence when it comes down from the heavenly abode into this corporeal world to do our mission, to do our service in this world. And then when you come into the land, referring to when we finish that work in this world, we've already transformed ourselves, we've already transformed the world, and we're now living this reality of, um, of oneness, where oneness is revealed and we've achieved what we're working towards to achieve, still opposites. But really, there's a very deep lesson here. And that is that we could say that Ki Savoy, that when you will come into the land, is really an explanation of how, of the manner that we do the war. That we do the war in a way of peace and tranquility. What does that mean? I mean when you are involved in, in your war, in the service in this world, what you achieve in this world, and the mission in this world, and as a way of peace and tranquility, it's a totally different playing field. It's a totally different war. And part of this is achieved by us knowing that really in, in, our, in our, 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 our deepest part of us, our, our essence, our core, really chose this battle, chose this mission, chose this journey, and, and that there's a purpose for this mission is an end goal of making a dwelling place for the divine oneness here in this world. But I think this lesson applies even at a more uh, personal, specific level. Each one of us in, in our day-to-day -day lives has many wars. We have the war of making a living, the war of getting up in the morning, the war of eating, the war of um, educating and raising our children having a proper relationship with our spouse, the war of working on ourselves. And each one of these wars and more can be done in a way of peace and tranquility. What does that mean? In all of the situations, let's say, I all of a sudden, you know, catch myself that I'm becoming dysregulated or stressed out or angry or agitated. So I can stop myself and say, wait a second, is this in a way of peace and tranquility? Am I doing this in a way of, is this peace and tranquility? And maybe I'll stop and I'll take a few breaths if need be. And maybe I can try to calm myself. Maybe I can, you know, bring that kind of self-regulation or co-regulation, co-regulate if need be. And bring myself that I can be doing whatever I'm doing in a manner of peace, in a manner of tranquility. And I think if, if each one of us does on a day-to-day -day and minute-to-minute -minute reality, we work on achieving this level within ourselves, then we can bring it out to the whole world that it'll be in this state where we transform our own corner of that world, of that reality, the Chavez.